Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're diving into something really exciting, designing and 3D printing a custom enclosure for the Mac Mini M4. Now, to bring this vision to life, I'm using Autodesk Fusion. This has become my go-to design tool because it's intuitive, versatile, and most importantly, it gives me full control over my projects. Whether you're designing something simple or complex, Fusion's parametric modeling capabilities make the entire process flow so smoothly. It's easy to take an idea from a sketch to a fully functional model. Stick with me and I'll show you just how powerful it is. First, I start with a basic 2D sketch of the enclosure's base. I can define specific measurements for each part of the sketch and then adjust them later if necessary without completely redesigning everything from scratch. It's like building a house on a solid foundation. You can make changes later without worrying about the whole thing collapsing. Once the sketch is done, I extrude the base to give it volume and depth. This is where the 3D modeling starts to come to life. I also make sure the exterior has a nice, sleek finish, which will not only look great, but also make the overall enclosure feel premium. From here, I'll start adding the details like ventilation slots and cable cutouts. Let's get designing completed. All of these design elements come together to improve functionality and usability. By the way, if you're looking to get your hands on Fusion, there's actually a 30% discount available. Check the link in the description to learn more. Trust me, it's worth it for any project, big or small. All right, it's clean, functional, and perfectly tailored to fit the Mac Mini M4. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now, it's time to take this model and get it ready for the 3D printer. With the design finalized, I export the model from Fusion and load it into my slicer software. This is where the magic of 3D printing really starts. I adjust settings like layer height, infill density, and print orientation to make sure the enclosure comes out perfectly. The goal is to balance print time, material use, and durability. This step is key in ensuring that your final print meets all your expectations, whether that's strength, finish, or print speed. Now, the fun part, watching the 3D printer in action. It's always amazing to see a design that only existed on screen start to take shape layer by layer. This process took about eight hours, and I chose PLA material which gives the enclosure a great balance of durability and a smooth, professional finish. Also, I used marble filament, which gives nice texture, which I think complements the Mac Mini's design perfectly. Once the print is finished, it's time for the moment of truth. The fit test. Does the Mac Mini slide right into the custom enclosure? I place the Mac Mini inside and success. It fits snugly and securely. The measurements were spot on and the design is holding up exactly how I envisioned it. Here's the finished result. The Mac Mini snugly housed in its new custom enclosure. The setup is not only practical, but it looks sleek and professional too. All the cables are connected perfectly and everything is running smoothly. Whether you're using it for work, gaming, or as a media server, this enclosure is designed to keep things tidy and functional. If you enjoyed this project, or if you're planning to create your own custom enclosures, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy designing and printing.